What's up guys and welcome back to Soft and Harder Solutions and today we're talking about Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 crashing for no reason. A lot of people have this DirectX error, black screen error, crashing to the desktop for no reason without giving you a notification of what the problem is. Now today I'm going to show you what you can do to fix that for Steam users and Battle.net users. Now I'm personally a Battle.net user, I play this game through Battle.net, I don't play it through Steam as you can see I have like 4 minutes, that's actual gameplay time, not just launching the game. But the reason why I have this on Steam installed as well is to show you what you can do to fix it for Steam users. Now I know a lot of people out there are playing this through Steam and I know a lot of people are playing this through Battle.net. Alright, so let's jump through Battle.net first and then we'll go over the Steam version. And let me show you what you are supposed to be doing to fix this game. A lot of people will be googling this and then it will give you bullshit like for instance you need to restart your router, restart your PC or do like a Windows update or some random bullshit. Like it doesn't make sense to what Google's answering, it really doesn't make sense. And you'll be very surprised on what I'm about to show you that it actually does work. And if this does work for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for your new year, and leave a super thanks if this actually does work for you and it actually saved you some time, money, and effort. Leave a super thanks, leave a thanks. That will mean a lot to me because it's the dedication that I'm doing for you guys by making this video and finding out troubleshooting of how to fix this fucked game for you guys. So, I would really appreciate it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the first one, which will be Battle.net, and then I'll jump through over Steam. Let's get straight into this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the first one will be, obviously, Battle.net users. So, this is for people out there that's using Battle.net like this. I'm currently using Battle.net myself, and this is how I play my game. Now... To fix your black screen errors and just random crashes to the desktop, maybe you press the Windows key button or something like that, and your game just crashes to the desktop and you have to relaunch your game. I know it's very fucking irritating and I know the feeling. So there is a little thing that you can do to actually fix this and I hope it's going to help you out. If it does, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. It will really mean a lot. So I actually know that I'm helping the community out there because this is what I do best. It's help the community for Call of Duty just in general. doesn't matter if you're playing this on whatever machine. It doesn't matter. If you are having problems running the game and you're getting errors, this is what you're going to need to do. All right, so for Battle.net users, you're going to come to Call of Duty which is the new update, which is the new Season 5. It's now just called Call of Duty again, not Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2. It's just called Call of Duty. All right, so you're going to hover over Call of Duty over here, and you're going to click on it, and it's going to take you over here. It'll say Call of Duty, and it's going to say Play. You're going to click on this little gear icon over here, and you're going to go to Show and Explorer. It's going to open up where your game is installed. Now, over here at the top, this is the folder I have created, and I've renamed it, as you can see. Yours might just be Call of Duty, it might just be Warzone, it might just be Call of Duty Warzone. I've renamed mine, so your folder itself over here will be different than mine. So you're going to go one back, one back, just one back over here like this, and then that's your folder over there. You'll see your folder. You're going to right click on this, and you're going to rename it. It's the most easiest thing that you can do to get rid of your game crashing, and just in general, your game fucking out. So all you need to do is rename this entire folder from what it originally is to anything you would like to change it to. So I would call it Call of Duty Warzone 2. And I'm going to say and for the and symbol with shift and 7 and be like Modern Warfare 2. Right? So Call of Duty Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2. You can call it whatever the fuck you like. You could call it broken ass game since this is a broken ass fucking game. Anyways, that's the folder. Now you renamed it. It's the easiest thing to do. There's another way of moving it to another folder, but that's not trustworthy. Otherwise, you can fuck up and then you have to install your entire game from over us, and I don't want you doing that. Okay, so I'm saving you trouble over here. So all you're going to do is rename the folder. Now, as you can see, it's been renamed and then you're just going to close out of it. It still says play. It will not work once you do this. You physically need to click on Battle.net itself and click on the exit button. You're going to open up Battle.net once again. So relaunch your Battle.net like this. And then it's going to show you that you have to install the game now. Because your application does not know where this game is anymore because you just renamed the folder. So now it's going to say install. You are not going to click install, you're going to click on locate the game. Now, you're going to click on this folder that you just made. Don't go into it like this. You are just going to click on the folder itself and say select folder. It's going to say verifying installation and it will do a couple of things. Yours might do a couple of things more, 
depending on your machine, depending if it's on a hard drive, solid state drive, M.2, depends on how fast this is going to go. Anyways, as you can see, it says play now. All you're going to need to do is click play and you're ready to go. This is how to fix the Battle.net version. Ladies and gentlemen, if this works for you for Battle.net, leave a comment down below that this actually worked for you. Smash that motherfucking like button. Let's jump straight into the Steam version. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the Steam version is a little bit more complicated. Um, since it is on Steam, it's a different platform than Battle.net. Uh, Battle.net, you could just rename the, the folder. Steam is completely different, and I don't play this game through Steam. But I can show you how to fix the crash errors for Steam as well. So let's go over this. You're going to right-click on this, and you're going to go to Manage, and you're going to go to Browse Local Files. You're going to click on this, and it's going to open up your local files for where this game is installed. So that's over here, and then this is where my game is installed. As you can see, it's obviously Steam install and then your steam apps then common and then this is your game you're going to go one back right you're going to be in your common folder right which is where all your games are installed right now it's going to be called call of duty hq and then that's your entire game and yours might be bigger smaller if you have modern warfare 2 installed as well whatever the case might be i have modern warfare 2 and warzone installed for Battle.net, not Steam, so that's just Warzone, as you can see, it's 51.4 gigs, that's just Warzone, there's no Modern Warfare 2. But this will fix it for both, if you have both your games inside you, don't worry about it. So what you're going to need to do is this. You are physically going to cut this folder out of here, right? You're going to cut it out, you're going to go one back, and as you can see it says common over here. You want this to be on the same drive, okay? So you're going to paste this over here, one back in your common so that's your common folder where all your games are. You're going to go one back and paste it inside here. Like your temp, your workshop, you're going to be here. You're going to paste your Call of Duty inside here. Now, you are going to minimize this. Right click on your game and then go to manage and then go to uninstall and say yes. Now, it's uninstalling the folder even though it just didn't delete anything. It just deleted the folder itself because you just moved it. So Steam thinks that you just uninstalled the game. Now, no, you are not going to reinstall 51 gigs. You're going to click install, and you're going to go to where this game is installed on your, which drive this is installed onto. So mine is currently on this drive over here, my online games SSD. So you can actually click on this over here, this little gear icon, and then go to where your game would be installed, right? So your storage, your cloud, and stuff like that. But I'm not going to go very in-depth with this. So I'm just going to click on install, go to this over here, click install and then once it starts you're going to do this i'm going to show you so it's going to say starting that's going to obviously calculate the space that you need for that drive and it's going to do this over here so let it finish and now it starts downloading you're going to click pause okay and then you're going to do this you're going to right click you're going to go to manage you're going to go to browse local files you're going to click over here click over there and then you're going to have common and you can have the Call of Duty folder now, which is empty because it's trying to install to this folder over here. All right. So now that it's installing to the folder and it's already created it, but it's empty, you're going to move this and then you're going to right click here again and you're going to say uninstall once more, say uninstall. And now it's going to say install again. OK, now what you're going to do is this. You're going to go to that same folder, which is now empty. You're going to go one back, which is your Steam apps. You're going to go to this one over here. You're going to open this up. Take everything inside the folder. Everything inside the folder. So let me move this up. Click on anything. Control A to highlight everything in the side of this folder. Right click. Say cut. Go one back. Go to common. And then come down to Call of Duty HQ, which is an empty folder. And you're going to paste it inside you like this. Now let this finish, you're going to let this finish completely, and now it's moving it for you over in Steam, and what this is going to do is it's going to override a couple of files, and you'll see what's going to happen with Steam once I click the play button. Alright, so there we go, it's done, it's been moved. Now you're going to have your Call of Duty folder, which is now been moved, you're going to go back one, and then in the Call of Duty folder that you have over here that had the stuff in it, you're going to delete. Now it's gone. So it's now back in your common folder. It just created a brand new Call of Duty HQ folder. But the things inside here is still exactly the same. All right. Now you can close out of this completely. Now you're going to click install. Same drive. And you say install. Now it's going to do this. Starting download. Now it's going to discover 
where your game is. So all those things you just pasted inside there, it's going to go ahead and do this. So I'm just going to come inside here, and it says validating, right? So it's actually validating every single file that's inside the Call of Duty folder that we just went to go ahead and paste inside there. Now what this is going to do is, once it finishes, it's going to do a small update. Why? Because files get corrupted on Steam. It doesn't really happen that much on Battle.net, and that's why you can just rename the folder. But with Steam, it's completely different, and Call of Duty in general, Modern Warfare 1, okay, was on Battle.net. Modern Warfare 2 should have been on Battle.net. Yes, I know people are going to be in the comments down below. Yeah, but I, I don't want like 700 like applications of what, I've run in, uh, what I'm running my game through or whatever. I don't want to use Battle.net, Steam and this and that and this and that and this and that. So I just use Battle.net alone and that's where I play my Call of Duties. Um, some games are obviously on Steam like World War 2 and the rest of the Call of Duties are on Steam. But Modern Warfare should have just stayed on Battle.net. And people wouldn't have had these issues. But, unfortunately, if you bought the game, or you have Warzone just in general, and you have it on Steam, this is the way to go. Now, if you are still running into problems, and you only own Warzone, this is just something I want to mention. If you only own Warzone, you've never bought Modern Warfare 2. Okay, this is a plus side for the people out there that hasn't bought the game yet. Okay, that's still deciding on buying it, or they haven't bought it yet, whatever the case might be, or they just play Warzone in general. If you're playing Warzone only through Steam, I would highly recommend uninstalling Warzone off of Steam, installing Battle.net, and install Warzone on Battle.net. It runs way better, there's less issues and stuff like that. Trust me, there's less issues. It took me a lot of time and dedication to find out what the actual fuck is Steam doing with the the files and stuff like that a lot of files get corrupted just in general there's a lot of files in games on steam when you play it that get corrupted for some reason then you have to clear your cache and stuff like that so to clean your cache and stuff like that you don't want any of those so i highly would recommend if you only have warzone go ahead and download it through battle.net it would be the way to go and i highly recommend it unfortunately if you bought modern warfare 2 on steam this is the way to fix it. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you for the Steam version or the Battle.net version, smash that like button, leave a comment down below if this actually worked for you, and leave a super thanks if you do feel that I'm doing a good job at what I'm doing right now. It would mean a lot to me. It takes a lot of time and dedication doing these type of things, and trust me, it does. It's very frustrating um, knowing that when you type into Google how to fix, like, Warzone crashing or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 crashing or black screen errors and stuff like that. Google literally tells you to go ahead and restart your router, restart your PC, you need to update your BIOS. That's some bullshit. Don't listen to Google, that's not the way to do this. Yeah, there we go. So Call of Duty is done and this is how you're going to do it, right? That's how you're going to do it. You're going to click on your Call of Duty and now you can just click play and you should be good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year, hit that super thanks button. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just here to help the Call of Duty community as best I can. Literally, as best I can. I can't do more than this. That's developers at the rest of the time. I can't do more than this. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. As always, peace out.